Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Chris here with infotainment.com. We have a 2019 to 2020 model year F-150 that we're going to be swapping a SYNC 3 module out with a SYNC 4 module. So if you want to see how to do that, stay tuned. All right, so for this upgrade, uh, we have our eight inch factory screen here. We're actually going to be reusing this screen um, if you have the 4-inch screen, you can upgrade to the 8-inch and still get this uh, SYNC 4 module as well. So just make sure to get those options um, checked on our website when you do place the order. But for this upgrade, we're using the Factory SYNC 3 8-inch screen and we're going to be swapping out our module here for the um, SYNC 4 module. This is included with your kit when you order it from infotainment.com. You'll get the harness and the module and that's basically all you need for the install. Now as far as tools go, I'm using an impact. You don't need one as well as an angle driver. You also don't need one. Uh, basically all you need is a seven millimeter socket with a ratchet and a panel tool and you'll be able to complete this job. But because I have these tools at my disposal, I'm going to use them. All right, so to start, you're gonna have to remove this speaker grill up here. If you don't have a speaker grill, um, you'll have a panel that still needs to be popped up and removed. It's just held in with retaining clips. Um, and reason being, you have two seven millimeter screws that are going down on the back side of this panel. You need to remove those in order to pop this panel up to gain access to two more seven millimeter screws that are um, holding our radio bezel down. So in order to do that, is you just want to grab your panel tool you can do it with your fingers but the panel tool definitely helps just kind of get it in the little gaps there and, and pop it up there you go There we go. This panel is off. We'll set that aside. And you can see our speaker here. There's two holes on the back side here. That's where our seven millimeter screws are actually screwed in. And this is where you can get your socket. And you can see you don't have a lot of room to work in here. All right, and this is where I'm using my angle. All right, we can take these out. And now you can grab your panel tool again and pop this panel up. Just like that. And you actually don't even have to remove this panel all the way. You can just kind of twist it to the side. What you're trying to gain access to are these two seven millimeter screws right here. And we'll pull those out. And now we can remove our radio bezel. And it comes off with the climate control attached. So we'll go ahead and just unplug this whole module. We'll set this aside. All right, now with our radio bezel and climate control removed, we have access to the six seven millimeter screws that are holding our radio on. We'll need to pull all these off. This is where if you have one, a little magnet may help because if you drop one of these screws down here, it might be kind of hard to fish back out. All right, now with our radio removed, you can see our current SYNC 3 module. We'll unplug the three plugs that are connected to the module. This one has a little paddle on it. You depress the center here, slide the paddle to the side, and that'll push the connector right out of there. And now that we have that free, we can go ahead and uh, 
go to the bench and we'll swap this out with our new module and then we'll come back to reinstall it into the vehicle. All right, with the module out here um, next to our radio, I did leave out that you do need a Phillips screw to remove the module, but you can grab your Phillips screwdriver and remove the three screws that are holding the module on. And one's kind of behind this wiring right here. All right, now the module's free. The only thing that's left to disconnect is this wiring or this cable here. And it's a little tight, so I'm gonna use my screwdriver to kind of help me slide it out of there. There we go. Now we'll remove the old and install the new. We'll plug that in. and reattach your three Phillips screws that you pulled out. All right, and that's it. Now we're ready to throw this back into the truck. All right, so before I get the radio and reinstall it into the vehicle, I'm gonna put the pass-through harness in that's included with your kit. You wanna grab that, make sure that the lever is towards the side of the connector. And as you put it on there, kinda of swing that lever to the upwards or um, backwards position, and it'll sink itself into the connector. So it'll pull itself all together and lock itself in once that paddle is all the way in the top position here. Now we can go ahead and plug it into our vehicle. And same thing on the vehicle side. That same style of harness. And then we'll replug our blue Fokker here and our USB connection. All right, now we'll slide our radio back up in there and reattach the six silver seven millimeter screws that we pulled out. Start at the top up here. All right, now we're ready for our radio bezel and climate control. Plug these back in. All right, we can simply snap our bezel back on. We'll replace our two seven mils up top. Get those tightened down. All right, now we can snap a little compartment up here back down and replace the two seven millimeter screws that are back next to that center speaker. All right, and lastly, snap your speaker grill back on, and that completes the install. As you can see, it took no more than 10 minutes to get full wireless uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. Um, so if you have a Sync 3 and you want a little bit more out of your infotainment system, uh, Go to the SYNC 4, get the upgraded um, processing speed as well as wireless uh, capabilities. And if you don't have satellite radio or navigation, you can add those in as an option as well. Um, and remember, you do have to send in a core. Um, so once you pull that old unit off, uh, send that back to us. All the instructions are on our website. If you like this install and you want to see more, head back to infotainment.com.